The FBI and U.S. Air Force are talking about the reason two dozen agents allegedly busted down the doors at a pair of Nevada homes. That was earlier this month. 8 News Now was first to report on the search warrant served at properties owned by the owner of a website that focuses just on Area 51. Nevada's top secret military base, uh, Jorg Arnu, gave his only on-camera interview to Chief Investigator George Knapp. The website DreamlandResort.com has a new wry addition to its content this week, endorsed by the FBI and U.S. Air Force, a sarcastic reference to the November 3rd events that upended the life of the website's owner, Jorg Arnu. My life has been very much turned upside down by all this. Arnu has managed the site since 1999. It's a central clearinghouse for anything and everything related to the world's most famous secret base. There's absolutely nothing that I would consider classified or that I know to be classified on my website. It's pretty much the same stuff that you find on other websites also. And I've repeatedly actually stated in my discussion forum that if ever anyone has a legitimate issue with what I'm posting, let me know and I will take it down. Two teams of federal agents, more than a dozen in each group, bashed in the doors of two homes owned by Arnu, one in tiny Rachel, Nevada, not far from the base, and one in Las Vegas. They seized computers, phones, files, along with a wealth of personal property. But Arnu still has no idea what they were after. He says 40 or so pages of the search warrant are sealed. Probably a justification for the search, but at this point, I don't know what it is. Area 51 has become so well known and draws so many curious people to its boundaries that the public sometimes forgets just how strenuously the government defends its secrecy. I found 31 or 32 of them uh, so far. In the early 2000s, a friend of Arnu's, fellow Area 51 watchdog Chuck Clark, took us on a tour of public lands surrounding the base to reveal a network of motion sensors hidden in the dirt to warn the base when anyone approached. Days after our news report aired, Clark's Rachel home was raided by the Joint Terrorism Task Force. His computers and cameras were seized. Clark moved out of the state and left Area 51 behind. And more recently, when a Facebook prank drew thousands of UFO curious to the desert to supposedly storm Area 51, the base beefed up its already strong internal security, but also amassed an overwhelming show of law enforcement might outside the base to discourage any knuckleheads from crossing the line. The excessive secrecy surrounding 51 has likely fanned the flames of public and media curiosity, which is one reason Arnu's website exists at all. What's the big secret, the public wonders? Arnu says his attorney told him he will likely never get his computers and cameras returned, even though it's unlikely he will ever be charged with the crime. He thinks this was entirely about sending a strong, if vague, message. At this point, I don't know exactly what I'm up against, but... My best guess is that because my residence is close to Area 51 and my website, Dreamland Resort, is kind of prominent in the field, that I'm being used to send a message to the Area 51 community. And my concern is how far will they go sending that message. George Knapp, 8 News Now.